You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is a drag race. A drag race of some of the most enticing performance-oriented all-wheel drive cars you can buy. We were very curious as to what would happen, so as the light was fading on this film day, we lined them up. So, Thomas jumped into the BMW, as is tradition. Carsten decided to pilot the Golf R, and I jumped into the brand new Audi S3. And then winter being winter, night came a lot faster than we thought. So did the cold. So all of our GoPros died, and our drone decided to take a little tumble off the cliff. But the strip was dry, the cars were warm, and we were ready. So we threw production value to the wind and lined up for a good old-fashioned street race. Night has descended on the track. Winter is here. Um, okay, time to race. Ready? Oh, the Golf and the S3 are similar. The M240 is off. Oh, I am away. Racing at night down the throttle house drag strip. That Golf is just edging ahead of me. It's just edging ahead. Come on! That extra seven or so horsepower. Yes! That's a win. Huge win. Huge. Oh, that was close. The question is, who won between the Audi and the Golf? All right, so. Yeah. Even with maximum concentration. Yes. Um, Carson just took me, the Golf R. Did he win? A little bit lighter, maybe. Okay. And, yeah. And it's got that extra little bit of horsepower. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you had that. Easily. 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 That was fun. Yes. Uh, do you want to do a roll race? Yeah, go on then. Okay. And then I'll tell you a little bit about my thoughts on the S3. Okay. Okay. So normally on Throttle House, we do daylight high production things. But unfortunately, it, th these days can be quite, you know, packed. And um, yeah, the drone landed in a distant river and Thomas, in a legendary form, fished it out. So right now, he's too modest to say anything about it, but right now he has swamp water up to his knees. Um, sorry, BMW. But yeah, as a result, it got dark, but we're no less curious, same as you guys, to find out what the hell happens when you put these cars up against each other. Okay, here we go. This is what it's like to be in a Mexico race. Roll race, here we go. The S3 is holding its own. In that golf R. There we go. And the M240 eyes off. And the golf R stayed equal. When you take the crazy launch out of the equation, <laughs> it's not so far off, you know? BMW does some nuts overboost, I think, on launches. That's the only explanation for that. Either way, and I can't quite put my finger on why. The Golf R has a very similar performance to this car. <laughs> Maybe the same engine. Hey. 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 Yeah. Closer. So who won? You did. Well, well I... <laughs> oh, he took me just... Again, I know that. Just slightly but again, he took me. Did he? Yeah, yeah. That makes perfect sense then. Very matched though. Yeah, very I was going to say, BMW did some crazy overboost on launches. Yeah. Because like, this isn't actually that much faster than these. No. When, you, when we're rolling. It is faster, but yeah, not that almost, much. It has almost 100 horsepower more. Yeah, and it, and it has an extra moose, as we've said before. It does have an extra moose. Yeah. But we've reviewed that, yeah. and we've reviewed the Golf R. Yes. We haven't reviewed this yet. All right, so, give, me, give me your two-minute thoughts. Go. Okay, so I've been, living, one with, I've been living with this. Yeah. Okay, and uh, so it, in, at the top, yeah. it is the best S3 ever. Wow, that makes sense, I suppose. Huge asterisk on that. Okay. The reason that's the case is because it's a little bit quicker. Yeah. The interior is updated to new Audi and it's beautiful. Yeah. It is an ergonomic dream. All yeah. the things that you want to be buttons are buttons. Thank God. The quality yeah. of the interior is high. The, yeah. It was, I mean, the other, the older S3 was in desperate need of an upgrade, especially yeah. when it was RS3 pricing. Yes, yes. Um, however, the caveat to that is 
this is well into the 50,000s Canadian. Ooh. And even though it shares uh, engine with the Golf R, unfortunately, it's been a bit nerfed because they've given the Golf R fun stuff, the clutch packs on the rear wheels. It's got the diff, yeah. The RS3 is going to get that. Yes, but it will. This yeah. didn't get any of that. No, so it's, it's just a Golf R again. Yeah. Is it down on power? No, they're the same. Yeah, like, it, it's, it nearest makes no difference. Those two cars are the same. It makes absolutely no difference. Yeah. It's a wonderful road car. However, the Golf R it has the ability to lose the back end a bit and be a bit fun. Yeah. This just understeers. And it has a heated steering wheel. Somehow, this doesn't have a heated steering wheel. <laughs> Explain that to me. It also hasn't got ventilated seats, you mean like, which you, the Golf R has. Heated steering wheel comes on Kia Rio, right? Like a Kia Rio has a heated steering wheel right uh, now. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's like child beauty patterns. It shouldn't be a thing that an <laughs> Audi doesn't have a heated steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, that is so ridiculous. And, and this is the round one. Normally, it's the flat bottom. No, that doesn't get it. Yeah, like yeah. your S4. You're like, oh, I got the cool flat bottom one, so I couldn't get the heated steering wheel, but yeah. Yeah, and uh, the other thing is, the headroom in the back is not as strong as the Golf. So the enemy to this car is not that car because this is, by Audi definition, a gentle cruiser that has a good amount of pep, a lovely digital gauge cluster. Like, I would still take this over that. Yeah. Just because I think that's just a bit hyper. Right. But the, it enemy, is. To, the enemy to this car is the Golf R. Is the Golf R. Because in Canada, it's specced 10 grand less yep. and it does more it just has stupid infotainment. If you can live with the infotainment, the, the Golf R, Volkswagen have come along and kicked Audi in the bum here. Eh, well, good for them. Yeah. I mean, I'm still very so, grateful. So Volkswagen's come along and kicks Volkswagen in the butt, basically. Correct. It's, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I'd like to apologize to the viewers about the lack of production value and all of that. Um, my feet are wet right now because I went hunting for a drone earlier. I did, t I did tell them that. You did tell them that? I okay. Them that. Um, yeah, normally we're a little bit, uh, you know, higher brow than this, but. But this was our this was our one opportunity before Christmas. Before Christmas to, to actually put these all this. together. We um, wanted to see, we wanted to see what happened. We were dying to actually know what happened. I want to yeah. know. I want to know. And okay. I, and it's kind of all as expected. All is right with the world. Well, good racing. Yeah. Good racing. It's getting dark. I'm getting worried because there's yeah. wildlife out here. I I live in the city and I'm I'm seeing shapes. They're called trees, James. So, in the dig race, thanks to its absurd launch control and increased power numbers, the M240i takes the win handily, despite its fat ass. followed by the lightest of the three, the Golf R, and then the slightly lower-powered Audi S3. In the roll, once the BMW loses its launch advantage, the order stays the same, but the race becomes much tighter. All three cars, then, have quite a wonderful amount of power for the road. We are, however, very excited to put the ultimate versions up against each other. That is, the incoming Audi RS3 and BMW M2. But that's for another day, in the light and the warm, with working cameras. Forgive us, we love you all. Thanks for watching.